there, I'm Barry, better known as Barry NDR. And if you clicked on that button there, the chances are there's a really good uh, reason you're wondering why would anybody name a YouTube channel Something Feels Wrong in a website with the same name? Well, after doing hundreds of tours in a small little area of the Dominican Republic in a province, I believe it's the seventh largest province in the country, Maria Trinidad Sanchez, I started to recognize that no matter what people were asking me, be it from Europe or Asia, Russia, America, my home country of Canada, but in all the different languages and methods of communication, more or less everybody was saying the same thing, and that was something feels wrong. That's how we came up with the name. Now, it didn't matter if it was from one extreme to a uh, trans-oriented mindset that uh, they feel freedoms are being eroded and more of an ever presence of a evasion of privacy or if you're on the other side everything seems to be relatively normal but we're looking for a place that we'd like to maybe consider that might stretch our retirement dollars or our savings uh, quite a bit further either way from one extreme to the other it really doesn't matter because in most cases your best option is going to be take your vote with your feet and vote with them and plant yourself where you think's best for those of you that are interested in looking at options whether whether it's offshore corporations, whether it's reallocating part of my portfolio into a different country, reallocating my body into a different country. We found this little town of Cabrera, which we've lived in full time for 12 years, to fit the needs. Uh, it fit the demographics, being from Canada, we could be as far as Timmins, Ontario, which is where some of our family lives. That's about seven hours north of Toronto, and we could be there by six o'clock at night if we take the early flight from Port de Plata. Florida, Miami is only an hour and three quarters away. Fort Lauderdale, two hours away. We found the demographics to be a big advantage, but even more than that, from a guy that's been in over a hundred countries, because I used to be an underwater photographer at one point in my life. I've lived in six countries. My last full year until my father got sick in uh, Western culture was uh, late 1984. So I've been scouting around places and living in places uh, with with my wife uh, for quite some time now and while nothing's ever perfect and anybody that ever says it is you should run for the hills right there we found this place seems to kind of pigeonhole our desires and our wants pretty good now that doesn't mean it would be right for anybody else however what I can say from 12 years of living here uh, hundreds of our discovery tours or excursions whichever phrase you'd like to use we found an abnormally large percentage of the people do come and do some type of business whether it's reallocating money or reallocating their bodies we've relocated I can't even count how many families here that has kind of all been gelling together you know putting personal differences beside and gelling as a community the way it used to be I hear that phrase an awful lot you know it's not like it used to be well actually nothing is Cabrera is not like it used to be from 12 years ago 12 years ago I needed my 4x4 which is my hobby everybody who knows me knows that I love 4 by 4 gosh half the stuff I used to need a 4x4 is now <laughs> smooth <laughs> smooth asphalt so you can't stop progress However, if you're kind of not feeling at home where your home is, <laughs> if you're kind of wondering things don't quite feel the same, if you don't like the invasion of the privacy or what several people have told me from different countries, the uh, police seem to take on the aspect of a military force rather than a police force, invasion of people's privacies and things of that nature too, like I say, wanting to retire in a more stress-free environment. After all, your sales, they react to the environment you place them in. So if you're in a peaceful environment, over time you will change and start to rekindle the fires that went out years ago about how it used to be. Like I say, I hear that a lot. Well, many people that relocate here say, this reminds me of where I used to live in America, Canada, uh, Europe, even, like I say, Asia, but how it used to be three decades ago plus. If any of this makes sense to you, if any of this are questions you've been asking yourself, if you want to look at something a little further, Reach out, 
get connected. We have tons of people that would be delighted to talk to you on a one-to-one -one basis that we've relocated. We have my wife, Leanne, Johnny, and I. Uh, we're going on doing this over a decade now. We had no idea this thing was going all around the world. That's, that's a story I'll tell you over a beer or two at dinner. But uh, if something feels wrong, you just may have found your website. Okay, so this is old Barry and DR, and until next time, we'll talk to you soon.